Hey guys, it's Iris here with another video and this video has been very much requested. Um, I, you know, I wasn't really thinking of making this video because I thought that there was already enough videos on the internet, on YouTube, on how I live in my car. However, when I went in to look into other people's videos and how they did it, there was one thing that stood out for me and that was that everybody seemed like they live in a mess. Everybody seemed like they live in a very small, confined space and there was just a lot of clutter. Every um, inch of the car was taken by space, by things, and I am a minimalist. So what does that mean? I like to maximize my space, have the most space that I can wherever it is, whether it's in my car or you know, back when I had an apartment, I did it there as well. I, I don't know about you, but I am a type A personality, which means I like things to be clean and I like space and I don't like clutter and I like all those things. And so for me to move inside my car, to live out of my car as an adventure um, has been a blessing, but it was also a challenge because I don't want to be like other people in the sense that I don't like living in a mess. I don't like having a smelly car. And so I have come up with a system that has made me very happy and that has created all uh, the space that I need in my car and created um, the ambiance that I want in my car for me not to feel cluttered. Um, without further ado, <laughs> here is my car tour, how I live like a minimalist without any messes. Here we go. Also, you know, this is gonna benefit people who are planning to do this and they have dogs like this little lady over here. My dog is white and guess what? My car is black and she is a Dalmatian which means she sheds like snow so I needed to develop a system where there isn't always hair everywhere but also I needed to kind of come to terms with the fact that there will be hair everywhere right so here we go okay so in the uh, driver's seat I have what is a little bag and this is my garbage throughout the day okay in the car door right here this is really important right here I have like essentials hand sanitizer a um, perfume and I also have deodorant and I usually have two kinds of deodorant um, right now I have one this is like a naturally fresh deodorant these are things that I want to have handy right before I get out of the car Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the passenger seat. The passenger seat is very, very essential. But one thing I want to make sure is that in the passenger seat, as you can see, there is nothing. Nothing. It's just, I mean, there's dog hair, sure. But there's not really anything, right? So there's enough space for me to sleep here if I want to sleep here or for a passenger to be here comfortably okay when I open up this I have all kinds of stuff in here baby wipes which are your lifesaver my angel cards my makeup here which is obviously an essential my creams here my tarot cards here that's hilarious tape notice that my tape is not the thick tape that takes up a lot of space everything that I do is very space conscious this actually should be garbage so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw it there my Ray-Bans here is more hair stuff here are some really cool glasses that I absolutely love now we're headed into like car things and car papers and you know the manual blah 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 right and then here is like a little pocket and I have a stress ball and I have more makeup and that's basically it now all right here we go and then you know I just make sure that everything closes nice okay so right here in the middle you see that there's nothing here I usually keep one bottle of water here or one plastic cup here um, I always try to have one open and honestly I would like for both of them to be open like they are right now the point is space and emptiness you want to have a feel of space just like here I only have you know a pair of glasses in here I put a couple of other things no clutter and a bunch of space when I go into the middle compartment here um, I open the first tab and here is my toothpaste and here is my toothbrush there's also other essentials like well as you can tell hair stuff um, plastic 
uh, utensils. There's also a shaving thing. These are things that are, again, part of the essentials, things that you might need last minute. Some headphones as well. And then when I open the, the deeper one, um, there is, there we go, a plastic cup. My AUX cable. That's a fanny pack in there. That is it, guys. It's not too filled. Now we're headed back into the driver's seat, but we're going to go to the back and you're going to see Chloe's domain. This is my dog, Chloe's domain. I have a very velvety plush um, blanket here for Chloe. This blanket has saved my life, guys. This is so important if you have a dog. Um, not only does it keep this, it, it protects, you know, your, your car seats. Um, it, the fact that it, 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 there is hair, guess what? Get used to it, okay? Um, but this will protect your car seat and also it grabs onto dog hair really well. And uh, so yeah, I actually really love it. I wash my car about every two weeks and so right now it's due for a vacuuming and washing. But I try not to let it get any worse than it is. I keep a bottle of water of Sefford Hills water and this is for Chloe. This is like a nice little, you know, toy for her. On the other side, there is a ball. I keep things for her to keep her entertained and to have them, again, handy. Let's go to the other side. Okay, when I open up the other side, there is a bunch of stuff. Now we're getting into the organization of things. My electronics, a nice purse. This is my regular purse that I use on an everyday basis. The, um, what I use to cover my car. The whole point of minimalism is to only have things that are essential, but things that you really, really like. So when I went into Walmart and I bought the, you know, the car blinders or whatever these calls, the car shades, I make sure that I got one that I really liked. That's it. <laughs> this is going to save your life. I really like this because it's really good for dusting and it takes out dog hair really 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 well works really well with a vacuum so i really really love this so i'm gonna start to take out the things that i have supermarket and get a gallon of water every three days it's actually more uh, beneficial for me as far as space so now we're gonna go to the most important part the trunk what the hell do I keep in this trunk <laughs> Ta -da! okay as you can see my car seems pretty well organized it doesn't look like crazy clutter and the more i explain to you guys how this works the more it's going to make sense but as you can see there is a yoga mat here um this is the food area so i have like a nice little um box from aldi's um from a supermarket and i just put all the food stuff this side is where my these are little pockets of space as you can see and this is like dirty clothes so this is a, a dirty towel towels are going to be your best friend um on the other side right here we have my clothes i have an extra sweater here that i don't want to clutter into my 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 luggage and then right here I have accessories and shoes so let me explain to you just a little bit more let me take some stuff out and explain to you a little bit more when I decided to get rid of everything I only kept all as, as far as minimalizing my life I only kept the items in my life that fulfill me that's the whole point of minimalism just to keep the essentials what you need and then everything that you have has to feel good to you. So your favorite pants, your favorite shirts, that's, you know, th that's what minimalism pretty much is about. Just keeping your essentials and keeping the things that make you feel good, okay? So in that case, I only have one luggage, all right, of clothing. Here we go. So I'll take this out first. And here it is. This is my luggage. These are my clothes. 
Um, everything is all super like tightly folded so I can maximize. With time, I've actually gotten rid of more clothes that I don't want. But there's also a rule that whatever, whenever I go and I buy myself something, I have to also get rid of something. So it can maintain the flow of good energy, the flow of abundance, and no clutter. With that, I also have another bag here. And this bag, well, this is my also another shower bag that I have. I have um, uh, a towel, but this is like the clean towel. So this is another reason why it's covered because obviously Chloe lives in here. There's a lot of dog hair that goes around. So I really wanted my own personal towel to be covered. And I do uh, laundry around once a week. This bag, this bag is my accessories, whatever it is from little purses, shoes. I have about four pairs of shoes in here. And that's about it. I mean, I have from uh, acetone to this thing that helps me like dye my hair. Um, I have more like shampoo stuff. Like it's just like the other essentials that you know that don't need to be in the front of the car. Right here, this is the pillow that I use to go to bed. Um, I absolutely love this pillow because as you can see it's big but it's not that big right and it's really nice and fluffy so if you're trying to live out of your car uh, think about the pillows that you want to use um, and how you can maximize the space and also the quality of the pillow like for me this this pillow is everything because it's so nice and fluffy and velvety right this is actually a really nice and plush um, blanket that I use to cover my seat to go to sleep and I love this because it's really nice and big and fluffy and it turns, it kind of turns into, uh, what is it called? It kind of turns into a sleeping bag. And you know, I can just like wrap myself with it and it, I actually sleep really well. I'm only 5'2", so I'm able to like stretch my legs and I don't know, I, I think that it's a mindset thing. If you know that this is what you want to do for some time, all of a sudden you don't bitch about how you're sleeping, you know, because this is just all temporary. This is, for me, I saw this as an adventure. I saw this as a calling. This is how I met my boyfriend. If I would have never uh, took the plunge and did this, I would have never met my boyfriend, you know, somebody who's really wonderful in my life right now. And so I, you know, you have to think about these things. This is a beach blanket that I have or picnic blanket that I have as extra. You know, I take this to the beach. I'm a huge beach goer and I really love this um, as well as I have my beach towel. I have a beach towel and this is, a, you know, this is all extra things that I like. Okay, so I'll show you what I have for now in my box. This is some detergent. Um, I like to cover this again because of dog hair and other things. So I, I use this little, I don't know, yoga towel to put it uh, on top. But right here I have, well not just baby wipes, but I have regular, I have a coconut oil. Actually I use that on my hair. I have peanut butter, I have chia seeds, I have from Vienna sausages, I have applesauce that I absolutely love. Um, this is something like a little extra bowl for Chloe. These are actually dog bones that I have for Chloe. And then these are other like little essentials such as, you know, mustard and ketchup and things like that. Um, and of course, mayonnaise. You can't go wrong with mayonnaise because I love mayonnaise. Um, and then of course, I'll put this um, ES, uh, ESPF. Moving on to the back right here. I have some space and guess what? This is the dog food. As you can see, I covered everything with towels. Um, this is how we protect our cars, right? And then this is, these are actually speakers because I need to um, install new speakers in my car and I haven't taken the time to do it. All right, my beautiful friends, this is the end of the car tour. <laughs> I hope that this actually inspired you all to keep your cars clean, organized. Um, as far as cleaning your car, I, I don't know if I talked about it much, but I really try to do it every couple of weeks or every week, honestly. If you're living out of your car, that means you have time. So I make sure I find the time. It only takes about half an hour to vacuum everything, to put everything back together. And yes, in the mornings, it can look more messy, but guess what? I pick it up and I put it back, put it back. And that's it, you know?